Welcome to the Wagner Stadium. Welcome to the resplendent, the beautiful Amstelveen in the Netherlands, just outside Amsterdam. This is an absolute hotbed of hockey. It is the FH Pro League. It's mini tournament number 13 of this season. And we have the Women's FH Pro League in this one. Netherlands, who are second in the league by 1.5 games to play still, with Argentina just above them. New Zealand sit in eighth. Today is FIH Inclusion and Diversity Day. No matter your gender. No matter your ethnic background. No matter your physical or intellectual abilities. No matter your sexual orientation. No matter your age. Everyone is welcome in hockey. Diversity is wealth. Inclusion must be the norm. You, we, everybody are all hockey equals. A great message from the players, from Megan Hull. And then Avina Dahl. Matlock will get us underway. Welcome along to the action of the Wagner in Amstelveen. My name's Dan Strange. It's Netherlands versus New Zealand. Game 13. Within touching distance, there might be a single goal deficit. If they can lead it, then fantastic. But they have to stay tight. Good work from Chandavard. Finds Matler in the circle. She's lethal in the circle. And here she goes with the opening goal. Unbelievable stuff from Frederick Matler. Well, I said she's lethal in the circle, and just like that, she pulls the trigger, and it's 1-0. Score offloaded. Flapping around, Taryn Davy tries to clear. Here is Maria Vascore again, good save. Netherlands get their second penalty corner. Janssen, long drag, good save, come to be done. Matler. Has no, the ball has cold. to go far. No, it's not cold. <laughs> this is the thing. Matler's going to try and get a shot away. She's done very well. How she kept control of the ball there, Frederick Matler. She's got body language suggesting she felt she was fouled in that process. Scored her first goal. The Investec Cup in 2014, I believe. The final against South Africa. And it's Peen Dicker celebrating. <laughs> Janssen, good save from Roberts. Janssen again, that time she gets more whip. That time though again, Roberts is equal to it. But once they made an error, Moose, they of the match in their first match against the USA in Lee Valley in London, in East London for sure. Oh, and there is Matler on their knees. Sorry, it's not Matler, it's Baronson. On her knees to touch home. Just seconds earlier, they've been the other end of the turf. Come back to that in a second as Van Heffen barrages into the circle. Oh, lovely shot. Moose, moose it was. They've got some final third threat now, which New Zealand just struggled to piece it together. That is a ball and a half. And then it's missed. Alongside her is Colin. Oh, oh, oh very good indeed. It. A miss at the back post. Wins the long corner. Zandi once more. Slap across goal. Oh, and it just, oh, Hanlon had to be on her guard. What I was going to say it was Phil Burrows. It's the left hand side. For Janssen. Tesso Hanlon. Therefore, the, the defender takes that action, it therefore becomes dangerous. Matler in the circle, still going left alone, doesn't quite finish that time. And Devard looking to create some spark. Just about five. Albers can do anything she wants on a day. And a lovely finish from Vane. Very in vain. I said she'd had a tough few years. Gets herself on the score sheet with a crucial touch. 16 goals. Yes, go ahead. Good effort. The score. Missed. Yeah, I don't think... Lovely tackle on Rose Tynan. And then, oh. from nothing. 
thing. Dienendahl's touched that into her own net, hasn't she? Rose Tyne, and it was down on the left-hand side. We'll see a replay from the inspired crowd. Well, it wasn't difficult in the end. I think they're referring yeah, this they very know, last they're play. For a foot. He stands at the top of the circle. Lovely. And they what do this say. time take a touch. And Brooke Roberts is equal to it, and the Dutch you, have to settle for 4-1. Sanders unable to add to the Dutch tally for the season and for today.